We're here with Audrey Waters, education writer, um, who writes often at hackeducation.com. Uh, her session at DML 2015 is on open learning and educational technology. And I know that, that you take a critical look at a lot of the hype, especially, around this subject. And I, I know that... And I, and I know that the, the theme of the conference has to do with equity. So tell us what's exciting about your, your session um, at DML 2015. I think that this is a really important opportunity to have some of the conversations um, that education technology simply hasn't been having. I mean, I think we've talked a lot in the past about the digital divide, um, and I think that that's sort of as far as we've pushed the questions of equity. And in some ways, we've sort of assumed that once technology is available, once information is available, um, that somehow that's going to sort of magically address any number of sort of other social, institutional, systemic issues. And so I think that what we've seen, particularly in the last couple of years around um, MOOCs, right, that have that word open in them, that we need to do more than just talk about access, and we need to talk really, really think about the ways in which education technology plays out that doesn't simply just address issues around, uh, uh, around inequality, but in some ways, are we talking enough about the ways in which education technology might exacerbate these things, right? How are technology technologies used to actually perhaps make things worse? And how can we articulate a politics that makes sure that when we talk about ed tech, that it isn't simply just replicating sort of other systemic issues. You know, there's such a long history of magical thinking about technology and education. Um, and I remember that from when the first personal computers became available. Yeah. Of course, the technologies that we have now, in, including the online technology and, and the widespread access to, to um, mobile devices is far more powerful and, and, and widespread than the, the technologies from the early days. What, what do you think the promise of using te technologies and, and pedagogies about openness in attacking some of these issues of equity? I mean, I think that one of the things that we can see is the power of networks. And of course, networks have always been the way in which power sort of accumulates in certain nodes and then sort of um, works to sort of um, further, certain, further certain interests, whether economic interests or political interests. And I think that we're actually seeing now with, the, with new technologies that we can sort of recognize and perhaps sort of organize um, some alternative networks, open up networks in new and interesting ways and leverage these networks to do something different than to sort of replicate, sort of replicate, if you will, the Harvard MBA sort of version of networking um, in, on, in an online setting. That we can really think of how, how do networks how have networks worked in education offline? And what do we need to do differently now to ensure that we really are addressing these equity issues? What other kinds of conversations are you looking forward to around, around your, your session at DML 2015? I'm really hoping that we can have an opportunity to address, I mean, specifically questions around race and questions around gender and questions around economic um, inequality. I mean, the, I think that this question of social justice is particularly relevant um, right now. And it's, it's something that I hope to be able to sort of um, make some of those voices um, uh, louder because I feel as though the, the loudest voices right now tend to be the ones that sort of are spouting the magical thinking. And I want to make sure that what we're doing is hearing, hearing voices from the margins and sort of actually talking about the ways in which we can do these things to make social change and not do these things to sort of make bad education more efficient. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm Thank sure you, I'm Howard. Sure as well.